Praise be Jesus Christ. The body is the temple of the Holy Spirit and must be treated with respect. Now, it could be that the Lord is giving us a sign to remind us of this reality. They're beginning to bring in the experts to examine the uh, body of Sister Wilhelmina from Missouri, whose body was exhumed just a few days ago and appears to be incorrupt. I want to read to you from a Catholic News Agency article dated May 26, written by John Bucuras and Shannon Mullen. This is a very Catholic article, by the way. <laughs> Only Catholics have articles like this that we read, and for us it's, you know, kind of, yeah, that's interesting. The phenomena of saints uh, having, having in some saints, their bodies being incorrupt, um, is a reality in the Catholic Church. There's whole books written about it, the incorruptibles. I've done videos on saints whose bodies were found to be incorrupt. Um, so for us as Catholics, we, we kind of have a, a bit of an understanding of this, but send this article to some of your atheist friends or even some of your Protestant friends. Say, hey, check this out. Isn't this interesting? We should do a little road trip to Missouri and check this out. See what they say. Anyways, if this proves to be true, it's still being investigated, but if it proves to be true, to me, it will be a significant sign for our time, especially in the American church, of just the reality of, of the Catholic faith. Okay, the caption for this article is, Morticians Mystified by Sister Wilhelmina's Body. Quote, something special going on there. Okay, the article begins. Expert morticians are scratching their heads at the recently exhumed body of Sister Wilhelmina Lancaster, a Benedictine nun who died in 2019 and now appears to be in an unexpected state of preservation. The reactions come a week after the abbess and sisters of the community that she founded. So she's the foundress of a community the Benedictine Sisters of Mary, Queen of the Apostles, unearthed the 95-year-old African-American religious sister's simple wooden coffin on May 18th from the cemetery on the monastery grounds in rural Gower, Missouri, to relocate her remains to a final resting pl place inside their chapel. Now, as I read this article, there's a lot of detail that you might not appreciate, but again, this is being carefully investigated. So this, you see the process, you see the care that they're going through, you see the things they're checking for. So I'm gonna keep reading. The local ordinary, Bishop Van Johnson of the Diocese of Kansas City, St. Joseph, visited the monastery Monday to see Sister Wilhelmina's remains. Johnson, who has communicated with authorities in Rome about the situation, issued a statement the same day saying that a, quote, thorough investigation, unquote, was needed to answer, quote, important questions, unquote, raised by the state of her body. You see the great care the church takes because the church doesn't want to be part of a hoax. The church isn't too keen to start publicizing alleged miracles until there's been a very careful and thorough examination. But just the fact that we do this in the Catholic Church to me is, uh, is quite remarkable. Jack Klein, owner of Hickson Klein Funeral Home in Gower, Missouri, who said he was present at Sister Wilhelmina's burial and issued her death certificate, confirmed for CNA that the religious sister's body was not embalmed and that the wooden coffin was not placed into an outer burial container. Klein said he, quote, can't understand, unquote, how Sister Wilhelmina's unembalmed body is in the state it's currently in four years after her burial. And then they get into more details of what a body should be like after four years, all the different phenomena, now her body is on display, there's no odor, odor which, would, which would be expected, and so on. Quite the phenomena. Again, we need to do the proper investigation, uh, but the Lord, He does give us signs 
so that we may believe. And this phenomenon is, is, is not the first time we see this in the church. And so perhaps the Lord is trying to tell our hedonistic, atheistic, agnostic world that, oh yes, the body is the temple of the Holy Spirit to be respected. And one day the Lord will raise up our fallen bodies into glorified bodies. Okay, scripture for you. 1 Corinthians chapter 3. Do you not know that you are the temple of God and that the Spirit of God dwells in you? Viva Cristo Rey.